Oh, good. You're up. The mayor's called a town meeting this morning. We should get down there and see what he's making a fuss about this time. Do you think it's some kind of trouble? Ah, uh, I really hope not, but I guess we'll see. Lead the way, Grandma. Follow me. I'd better follow Grandma to the town hall. Settle down, everyone. Settle down. I've brought you together to discuss a very important matter. There have been very strange goings-on in our beloved town of Fairhaven. There is a force at work in our community, and I don't know who's responsible, but whoever they are, they don't have Fairhaven's best interests at heart. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Me neither. I've seen strange lights in the forest at night. Yeah, and folks in robes and masks wandering around after sunset yes yes good you know exactly what i'm talking about wait i'm sure there's a rational explanation for all this no matter the cause we must ensure our town doesn't become a home for rouseabouts and unsavory types i ask all of you to keep a sharp eye out for signs of mischief and if you see anything report it to me. Or me, if you'd prefer. I'd hate for anyone in Fairhaven to feel fearful. Well, I never. Mayor Otto, soft on business. <laughs> soft in the head is more like it. Him and his fancy britches wife standing up there and casting judgment on others. Uh-oh. You're even madder than I thought. He can't just tell people to spy on their neighbors, to be so afraid right. that they distrust everyone around them. <laughs> me? Maybe if we could cast a goodwill spell to make everyone be nice to each other? I wish it were that simple. But just because you can <coughs> solve a problem with magic doesn't mean you should. Thomas could use some help on his farm. I know he's got an order of beans due, and he doesn't have enough plots going to make it in time. He's too proud to ask for help, though. <laughs> Here, take these seeds. They should be enough to make the order. Are these magic beans? No, heavens no. But if you've got the means to give him a boost, it certainly wouldn't hurt. Come on, man. That's good. Come on. Thanks again for helping me out with the thistles. No problem. Have you planted the tulip seeds I gave you? If you grow flowers in your garden beds, you can attract bees. First, you need to build a beehive for them. Here's some instructions. If you keep the bees happy, they'll make honey and beeswax. The more flowers, the faster the bees can produce honey. So plant plenty. Uh, do I really want to keep bees, though? Won't they sting? Bees can feel your intentions. You just have to come at them with the right energy. Come back when you have honey to sell, and I'll buy some from you. Look, I don't even like flowers that much, but I can set my own hours. I like being able to be there when my little brother gets home from school. That's so nice. How old is the little guy? 16. But he still likes it when I make him a snack, okay? This beautiful creature I see. I, uh, what, uh, 
I'm Tara, Hazel's granddaughter. <laughs> Hazel told me her granddaughter was coming to town, but didn't mention that she was so lovely. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm Amira, the doctor here in Fairhaven. I've been taking care of your grandmother. Oh, wow, thank you. I came as soon as I heard she was sick. <sighs> She's lucky to have such a caring family. Well, I mean, to be honest, we kind of fell out of touch for a while. I'm trying to make up for lost time. We can't regain lost time. But you're here for her now. That is enough. Remember, keep your eye out for fish swimming in the water. That's how you know where to cast your line. If you can't find me at my stall, I'll be by the lake in the forest. Or the beach. Anywhere I can cast my line. Well, and Damon's Pub. But all I catch there is grief from Otto for staying out too late. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
Welcome to the island. I am Messenger Cameron Connor. Hey. As one newcomer to another, please let me know if there's anything I could do to help. Welcome to Cafe Moretti. What can I get you today? Oh, I'm new here. I just came by to say hello. It does smell great in here, though. <gasps> Wait, you're Hazel's granddaughter. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, I hope you come back soon. Moving always works up an appetite. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Sophia. Hey, Sophia. I'm Tara. It's nice to meet you. Boo yet? His shop is right next door. That is so nice. You must never get sick of each other since you live and work so close together. <laughs> nope. Why, did he say something like that? I mean, Francis does like his quiet time. everything we need now I've written down the recipe here head on over to the stove and give it a try Grandma, here's your mushroom risotto. Oh, thank you, honeybee. It smells wonderful. But you made enough for yourself, I hope. Is your wand ready? Yes. Look, careful where you... It's time for you to meet the coven. Are you ready to go? Sure. Let's go. Okay. The brambles only allow friends of the coven through, so this incantation helps it to identify you. Once it meets you, it'll know you're a friend and let you through from now on. Say the spell when you're ready. Hey, Bri. Our phone. of the coven comes to you. Unravel your brambles and let me through. Oh, it worked! Well done. Now, let's head on up. Grandma, what 
is this place? Who are these people? Shh. You've got to be properly introduced. Who approaches the sacred circle? I bring one who wishes to know the mysteries of this coven. Um, hi. Welcome, Initiate. Elder Hazel has told us so much about you. I am the High Priestess of this Coven. Before you can join us, you must vow to never reveal the location of our circle or the details of our rights to any others. Do you promise to abide by our covenants? Sure. Um, I promise. I'm so excited that I'm a witch. This is going to be so much fun. Uh, about that, honeybee. You're not a witch. Not yet. First, you must cast the initiation rite. Oh, okay. Um, but how do I, how do I do that? Speak to the Farseer over yonder. He will explain the... Farseer, that's me. No, I'm nearsighted, Farseer. <laughs> you know, you sound a little bit like... You have no idea who I am? I'm wearing a mask. Listen, do you want to sit here playing guessing games? Or do you want to learn more magic? Magic. Great. I'm going to teach you the art of incantations. Mm, tricky stuff. Mess it up, and there won't be much left to you beyond dust. That sounds a bit dangerous to start with. Only to fool initiates that don't follow instructions. Now, listen closely. Are you ready? I'm ready. Great. I need you to chop lots of wood. What? Turn it into paper. Right. You'll need a paper press. Put it in your tool shed. How will this help me with incantations? All will be revealed. <laughs> One of us is clearly crazy. I'm beginning to think it's me for listening to you. Tobert. Er war's halt gebraucht aus in einem Buch. I'm not one to mind rules, but you should keep away from the Standing Stones. You're not ready for that yet. to this gathering. Hey, you can call me the Acolyte. It's nice to meet you. But I'm not supposed to speak to you much yet. Am I 
ready for bed.